Hello, Color Circuit. Uh, Dylan has been thrown off of the table for his constant uh, mispronunciations of Oops. Pikachu. And uh, I'm your new Dylan. <laughs> you yeah. might know me as that voice that occasionally complains about things and likes Digimon way too much. Um, but this is the Mega Man 11 uh, pre-order trailer reaction. And um, if there's one thing that I love as much as Digimon, it is Mega Man. Oh, and yeah. I am incredibly excited for this game. I've watched this trailer like 30 times. I've watched like frame by frame breakdowns. <laughs> um, but these people haven't. So we're going to watch it. And I'm basically just going to explain stuff, I think. Right on. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Bad memories make the worst dreams. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Wait. That research from my youth. Yes. Now I'll show you light. Yeah. yeah. was promised to be, to be and none of the stuff that it actually was. <laughs> Alright. Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy. This is the prototype double gear system that Wiley developed back at Robot University. If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. But it's dangerous. Double gear places great strain on robot systems. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this no matter the cost. Hook me up. As you wish. thought it was dead we thought the franchise died when inafune left and um here it is a better mega man game than inafune could make on his own right um that's well, yeah. interesting yeah yeah mm -hmm. so definitely... yeah the big thing about this game is the double gear system which yeah. is you've got like the speed gear where like you go so fast everything slows down even the background music right. mm -hmm. um and then the power gear uh, you you just like hold the button and right. like, you'll rapid fire or you can like overcharge. Like, that was cool. Stages. That was yeah. cool. Yeah. And you can charge the weapons like you could in Mega Man X. Yeah. Ah, uh, nice. And uh, there's also like if your health gets below like four pips, mm -hmm. you can go into like a super mode that puts both double gears on you, and you can like Ooh. unleash it in like that ultimate attack that cool. he used on the yeah uh, okay. block man. Nice. Um, and uh, so like how it works is there's a little bar that fills up whenever that fills up it like short circuits your double gear system for a while mm -hmm. um and then it, i think if you do that like desperation mode when that overcharges you explode so <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice uh so you pretty much need to finish the fight with that um, right right and uh let's see what else yeah all the bosses have like a like double Robo. gear system like um fuse man doing this super dash thing right. he looks like such a pain in the ass oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah but the, the bosses are like built to be really difficult to fight without yeah. the double gear because uh like block man you needed to use the big super move to damage him a bunch before he just walked up at you <laughs> um also one thing that i like about this is that they're um it, it's very much like a classic Mega Man game but they're not afraid of just 
changing some of the stuff that didn't quite make sense. So, like, instead of, like, hitting the shoulder buttons to cycle through your weapons like you've yeah. done in most modern Mega Nans or how Mighty Number no. 9 does it, they just map it to the other joystick. So every direction you hit is one of the oh, right. weapons. And then, cool. like, Rush Coil and Rush Jet have their own dedicated buttons. Mm -hmm. And, um, like, so, so it, it controls differently. It controls a lot better. They're not just sticking to, like, we're just going to make a Mega Man game again. Right, yeah. It's, no, that's it, nice. It looks yeah. like it's got some real fun stuff to it. Yeah, the shop's back from uh, the... Shop. the it, it originated actually in Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy, but nobody played that. So it <laughs> effectively originated Mega Man 7. Uh, right on. It took all of like all of they probably looked at all of Mighty Number no. Nine's development and, oh, yeah. and failures. No, this game would not exist in a world where Mighty Number no. Nine was good. No, no, no. not at all. No. No. Enough no they need. left, and Capcom is just like we don't know what to do with this series. Like it, it just we can't really do anything. And then Mighty Number no. Nine came out, and it was just a colossal disappointment. So Capcom is just so like, bad. oh, he wasn't the soul of Mega Man after all. We can totally do this without him. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was something intrinsic to Mega Man that wasn't him. It was us. Let's make a Mega Man. Right on. Uh, right on, right on. <laughs> I'm unbelievably excited. Yeah, for no, this. it looks awesome. Yep. Like I said, I, calm down the whole, I, don't I have already pre-ordered. There's also a special uh, Amiibo yeah. for the Switch oh, version. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. um, I have pre-ordered the Switch version and the Steam version, and I am honestly considering pre-ordering the PS4 version, and I don't even own a PS4. Yeah. Wow. Um, no, I'll just be doing because that. if I so had this is, one... So it's going across platforms? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, it's it's Xbox <laughs> One, it's PS4, Switch. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right on. Um, right on. Yeah. Cool. No, I'm into it. I've, uh, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've always enjoyed uh, the Mega Man games. And like, yeah. yeah, and like I said, the the I was optimistic for... Uh, I backed Mighty, Mighty, Mighty Number Nine. Nine. I yeah, Mighty yeah. Nine at yeah. Like 30, 40 bucks. I got like the the all of the unique costume DLCs, including the one that's basically just a literally a Minecraft skin. <laughs> into the game for some oh, what, watching the release day uh, let's plays. Yeah, was like watching you know, like, everybody's hopes die. And like was... the game came out and I played it, and I'm just like. This is butts. <laughs> this is yep. bad. Like, I tried to fight through it. I'm like, okay, it's, like, real easy and real bad, and it's got this stupid combo system that it's just, like, a platinum game, you aren't. Mighty number mm. nine, you really don't need the grade. Like, the thing that I hate about that is, like, Mega Man games, the original Mega Man games are all about, like, you've got these sort of, like, one-screen obstacle courses, and it's just, like, how am I get, going to get through all of these enemies and these traps? So you have to, like position yourself in a way that you could shoot stuff from a safe distance and it's very methodical right. and if you get really good you can start to go very fast um i'm learning how to speed run Mega Man games now i know a lot of the going fast things but the way mighty number no. nine works is you have to shoot a guy shoot them some number of times and then you dash through them mm -hmm. to right. absorb the enemy yeah and if you take too long between the shooting and the dashing you lose like score at the end of the level yeah and dashing through them also heals you so instead of the Mega Man ones where it's just like I'm gonna get here I'm gonna fire a couple pellets I'm gonna try to conserve my life and ammo Mighty number no. nine is just smash your face against the enemy over and over until they die just you, like I mapped the shoot button to one of my shoulder buttons and the dash button to the other and I'm just playing it like I was playing that like digging mini game in pokemon stadium just right. doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> and that's all i needed to do because you just shoot things and smash through them so what's your difficulty levels this is going to be for oh this yeah game? this game's gonna have four difficulty levels there's like a casual mode where uh um, my mode <laughs> yeah basically like the instant death pits and things like that just instead do a chunk of damage and then you get rescued by beat without needing to buy them or anything Cool. And then there's like a normal mode, and then there's a hard mode where things have more health, and there's like a super difficult mode where they're like right. adding pits and enemies where there aren't any. Nice. And I'm starting with that one. There, there was a go. difficult mode in Mega Man 10, and I started on that one too. And um, right on. it's advanced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they did the the same thing in two as well. Well, two was um, whenever they brought it to America, they added an easy mode right. because Americans suck at video games. Right. <laughs> um, That's hilarious. interesting note about speed runs. Um, the most games you want to run the Japanese version because more text and fewer characters means that the text scrolling on the screen is faster and shorter. Uh, but Mega Man 2 has the normal mode in the US version, uh, but people have timed it out. The amount of time you save 
by having fewer shots on the bosses is exactly the amount of time you save by having the faster text on the Japanese version. So they are identical. Nice. The, the, the records for both of them are like the same. Uh, right on. Yeah. Cool. Right. This looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we should wrap up. I could talk about Mega Man. Like, I could do a sit down in Mega Man show like Connor does with his wrestling. Um, but we've got another one of these to do for a different game. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. I talked a lot. Does anybody else want to talk? <laughs> no, I, I, uh, it looks awesome. I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I don't have the, near the history with Mega Man, but I'm definitely like into, like, especially the old. Kind of the old style games. I miss the old 2Ds. I know so. more about the history of Mega Man than I know about the history of America. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I think it looks good. I think I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm all about like uh, kind of the retro style, and mm-hmm. especially like updating it. Yeah. Like yeah. No, that's mm-hmm. great. Yeah. You've been wanting to have me play Mega Man games. I know. I've been trying to get so, you into Mega Man. So this might be my first Mega Man game. Sure. And if you would just want an easier one, Mega Man 9 and 10 did have easy modes, and I have the Legacy Collection. You can give those a shot. No. <laughs> you could play as Proto Man. Okay. You could play as Bass. You don't even know who Bass is. All your Bass <laughs> belong to us. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, Fernando, you've been uncharacter- uncharacteristically quiet. Oh, no. It looks, <laughs> like, it looks like it's a fantastic game. Don't patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I've been I've been playing it since the very onset, oh, yeah. and it yeah. was Good it stuff. was great. But I wish stuff. I could say that I've been playing it since the very onset. I've been playing it since my very onset, there but the go. franchise predates me by about three years. But ah. at, at this point, I would say there's not much more I can add to this conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah, I I kind of monopolized this one. Sorry, that's about. fine. <laughs> Jessica, what? I'm actually going to play it, so there. Cool. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 Because it'll be literally the only thing on the television <laughs> right. whenever it comes out. Oh, yeah. We're all actually going to play it. Yes. There you go. All right. There you Boom. go. All right. Boom. We're going we're gonna to wrap this <laughs> up. We're going to wrap this up. I promise I'm done gushing about Mega Man. <laughs> um, we're going to do one more of these where I get to complain about Fallout. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you all for tuning in on this one. We have been Color Circuit. Um, I have been your temporary replacement, Dylan. Digi. Jessica. Fernando. Stanley. All right. We will catch you next time. Good night, everybody. Yeah.